When the Academy Award nominations were announced yesterday, among the films on the list for Best Picture was the year's biggest grossing movie, Barbie. But many were surprised the nominations for Best Director did not include the film's director, Greta Gerwig. Jeffrey Brown has a look for our arts and culture series, Canvas. So how do these nominations get made, and why would both Greta Gerwig and the film's star, Margot Robbie, both be left off? Well, Washington Post chief film critic Anne Hornaday has been thinking and writing about this, and she joins me now. Hi, Anne. I mean, you wrote an interesting piece today in which you said that the range of films that were nominated in the Best Picture category really reflected the, the wonderful range of films being made, but not in the director's category. What happened there? Well, Jeff, I think that um, let's focus on the good news, which is what an amazing year. I mean, I think that uh, this is a wide range of films, both in theme, in tone, in approach, and it's just exactly what we want in scope. You know, we want the bigs, we want the littles, and we want the mediums. Um, but the director's branch, when they nominate the, the five finalists for the Oscar, do tend to go with the kind of auteurist, you know, technically rigorous, um, ambitious work. A lot of people pointing to an irony here that the director of a film smartly critiquing sexism in the culture, she doesn't get full recognition. And to some, that suggests that that very sexism is on, on display. Well, I, I can understand that, but I'm not sure. I, I think we need to be really careful about, and, and maybe a little bit more thoughtful about framing this as, as pure sexism. I mean, let's not forget Justine Trier made the cut for Anatomy of a Fall. Um, it might have as much to do, if not more, with genre than gender. You know, I mean, even though Poor Things made that cut for director, generally Oscars don't take comedies as seriously as art, you know, as as dramas. And um, so I think that might have as much to do with it as anything. And it also, I think we need to kind of remind ourselves about how these nominations are made. You know, I mean, this these the nominations do come from the individual branches. Um, and those members basically, you know, cast their ballots individually, anonymously, and confidentially. So it's not like they're getting in a room and, and making these decisions collectively. So um, I'm a little bit more hesitant to paint this with a wide brush of uh, sexism or snub. I just think, you know, Frank, if anything, I think it points to just how rich the choices were. I mean, these are five, we can all quibble, and we would all sort of make our choice of who we would replace with whom, which is a really fun thing to do. And I think it it increases our interest in movies. But at the end of the day, these are really, let's not forget, these are very strong choices and um, extremely well-directed films. So it's not as if somebody got in at somebody else's expense. And then what about in the actress category where Margot Robbie did not get in? That, that was a very strong category of, of, of acting. That's exactly right. That's, that's my point exactly. I mean, um, um, and we don't know, we don't know the numbers, you know, we don't know how close those votes were. Um, so I just, even though I know it's heartbreaking for the people that don't, you know, that, that get up early and, and, and it's also, you know, something of a, um, a team sport, you know, for the fans of the movies, Barbie did get recognized in many other categories, including supporting actress, which was sort of a surprise to me, um, as well as best picture and, and other categories. So, I don't know, maybe I'm being Pollyanna, but I, I do choose to see this as, as more good news than bad. We have talked about this a lot in the past, about the lack of representation in films and then lack of representation in the, in the, in the awards and the nominations. There have been many changes made in the makeup of the Academy itself. Do you see the results of that in recent years? If anything, I see the results in the the increase in international membership. I think that's where we're really seeing sea changes. Um, and I think it's terribly exciting. And I think it returns cinema to its global, its proper global place. You know, even though Oscars are quintessentially Hollywood, um, the, the transmission between Hollywood and other countries and other cultures is longstanding and rich. And so I think the degree to which we're seeing things like Parasite and um, Michelle Yeoh winning for Everything Everywhere All at Once and this year Anatomy of a Fall, I just think it suggests a widening of the lens when it comes to what we consider movie movies. 
um, and mainstream movies, and, and that's all to the good. Ann Hornaday of The Washington Post, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.